Hello everyone, my name is Eric Terra Mullins, and today we're going to be checking out Wonderful Works, distributed by Good Smile Company, Genshin Impact. Astrologist Mona Magistus. Ah, Genshin Impact. Mona's an epic character from the game. I love this character so much. She's amazing, she's hilarious, the voice actress is incredible, and her design is beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that the Chinese market had to censor it and make a new costume for her. So by the time this statue was announced and then released, her costume had already changed. I'm not sure if when you get her later in the game, like, year-wise, if you can actually have access to the older one. Because I've been playing since the beginning, I have both of them. And I actually like both of them. I think they're both really pretty in their own regard. But this is the classic one, and it's gorgeous. They made this beautiful statue. Let's check it out. Starting with this base, it is absolutely atrocious. I can't stand it. I like the idea that they did something blue. I mean, at least that matches up with the water, but they should have actually made a water ripple effect or really anything. Maybe they could have used a plastic that matches up with the water design that they have building around her, but the actual base plate is awful. It just doesn't fit. I can't stand it. I actually hate it. But I do place her on a higher shelf, and so I don't notice it whatsoever. I just see all this beautiful water design that comes out, which is very nice. This water design is crazy. They did such a great job with this sculpt. The coloring is beautiful. I absolutely love the way it surrounds her and it all comes apart. It could have so easily come off as being ice or something like that, but it actually feels like water. It's just very, very, very nice. <laughs> very, 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 very. Now we're going to move up to her shoes. I'm saying move up, even though the water clearly surrounds most of her. Whatever, I'm going off topic. The shoes are super cute. They look the way they're supposed to look in the game. I think it's cool how it looks like there's clamps that are on her feet. I don't know how well these shoes would stay on, but we don't ask questions like that with Genshin Impact. All these asymmetrical designs are through the roof impressive, and who the heck cares? It looks good, so it is good. And as I had mentioned earlier, Asymmetrical is the name of the game with the character from Genshin Impact. Both shoes are not the same, they're actually different. They have quite a bit of differences. You know, when I was younger, I always wanted to buy two pair of sneakers that were the same shoe but different colors and sport one of each color. I don't know why, I always thought that was kind of cool. So, right here, these are the same shoe, somewhat, but different, I guess? No, these are actually completely different shoes. I'm very surprised that she's comfortable in this. <laughs> but who am I to judge? I'm not Majestus at all. She, she's Majestus. It's Mona Majestus. The Majestus part is her. Meaning the great astrologist Mona. Now let's start moving up on her stockings. They're not really stockings, it's actually a bodysuit that she wears underneath her bathing suit, bodysuit afterwards. But. We'll just call them stockings for the simplicity of explaining this figure. Her left leg actually has a blue gradient going up the side of it, which is very nice, very well done. I think I would have preferred the blue gradient to go a little higher personally, but I'm not going to complain too much because it does still look pretty cool. She has little golden stars on that leg as it moves up and makes its way to darker stars all the way up to her hip, and she has quite a few of these stars on the left leg. Meanwhile, the right leg doesn't sport so many, but it has a couple down near the foot. On top of her right knee, she has this little, I don't know, metallic something projection so-and-so that helps her with star charts of some sort? I don't know, it's on her leg. In the game, it actually shapes to the curves of her leg, so it's rounded off. In this figure, they decided to make it a three-dimensional thick piece, almost like a compass, if you were to put it on the side of your leg. I don't know how I feel about this. I really love this character in-game, so I look at her in-game quite often. Seeing this piece pop out like this, I feel like it looks nicer when it's actually rounded out to her leg. However, and I can't say it's more realistic because let's face it, it's not. It's Genshin Impact, so they're not going for realism, they're going for aesthetic and design. So it just kind of feels like it just pops out and it's just there. It is, however, connected to this metal piece that straps around her entire leg, which is very nice. There's the cute little star at the beginning of this metal band, too. It does look pretty. It's just, I personally think I would have liked it to be rounded out, but this is personal preference. Once we get to her hips, she has this lovely little gold design, which is actually, wait for it, the same on both sides. I was actually surprised about this. I had to look at the figure a couple of times because I just didn't believe it. There's just so much asymmetry going on here that it's hard to pinpoint what's the same and what's different. 
And this is actually a really fun thing. For the eye to look at something and think, hey, that's all like this, and then this is like this, but slightly different. It's intriguing. So this bodysuit actually moves up. You get to see a bit of it on her back. It looks nice. I love the gradients that they've used all throughout. Throughout the legs, throughout the back, and even throughout her stomach. You can actually see as if some of this material is being stretched out at certain parts and intervals of her body. It's very well done. I'd say the stomach part seems a little bit too light near the top area, but it is a little darker down near her feet, so it seems like it just slowly gets lighter as it makes its way up, and I kind of like that gradient effect. On her back, she has a bit of that gold trim and a little star in there. I keep calling them stars, but it's kind of like diamonds that are beveled inwards to give a star effect. But for all intents and purposes, they are stars. She's a star queen. You know, all those overpriced fancy foods. Personally, I think it's uncivilized and frankly dangerous to splash out and indulge yourself every time you have a little hunger pang. The sculpt and mold really show that she probably does quite a few sit-ups a day. I like to think that she takes care of herself even though she only eats salads, that's all she can afford. Oh, salad. Salad is by far the best food in the world. If she wanted to, she could probably be one of the richest characters in the game. It's just that her morality and being a good person and helping people out comes first, and that's something I can really get behind. Speaking of her behind, that is the dumbest segue. We'll start talking about the blue part to her bodysuit. It has this beautiful gold trim all across. It's beveled. There's this tiny little gold thread on her lower back. This is very delicate. When dusting, be very careful. It's got all this movement and motion to go with the rest of her pose. It looks nice, but it kind of feels out of place on the figure, despite it actually being on the original design. So, I can't complain about it, I just think it kind of pops out of nowhere. This blue also sports a beautiful gradient from the bottom being a darker blue as it makes its way up to a lighter one as we get into around her chest where it's just this small light blue type of bra deal. I don't even know how it's staying on. The magic of Genshin and symmetrical as well. It surprises me these symmetrical parts every now and then. It has a couple of cute little stars here and there but I feel like that's more on the darker beige bodysuit as opposed to on the blue. On the side she has this cute little diamond design. They really had their work cut out for them, honestly. Wonderworks, I find, is okay. I have a couple figures from them. And you can tell that they work pretty hard on some of their projects. And with the Genshin fanbase and Mona fanbase, they had to hit it out of the park. After that, moving up a little more, we see some skin for the first time on this character. You get to see a bit of her back, which is very pretty, and it kind of cuts down and goes near the front. She really just has that 1970s wizard vibe to her, something the new clothing really doesn't have. The newer character design is a lot more modern in its look. Kind of like the old-fashioned design, you know, where Conan the Barbarian was just in his loincloth, and the wizards were practically in underwear too. It's just all so ridiculous. She then has this beautiful little North Star style thing that you would see on a map. I actually don't remember the name of it because, uh, my brain don't work so good sometimes. But it looks really cute. It's kind of connecting her cloak that she has, which isn't really a cloak, but I guess it's more shoulder pads that lead into this fun little scarf-like cape that she's rocking. <laughs> Shoulder pads are beautiful and elegant. Everything seems so luxurious. And she has this nice little shawl hoop that goes around her neck. The actual shoulder pieces look kind of armor-like as they have a nice cut and trim to match up with the rest of her blues and her golds on her design with beautiful little accents and designs on them. They are symmetrical as well. As we get into the back, she actually has a little, it almost makes me think of like a jester style design. I know that Genshin Impact really liked messing around with Mona and kind of almost making you feel like she might be kind of an idiot because of the way she does things in life. But she's actually incredibly capable and extremely intelligent. She's also rocking her vision on her back. And for real, it's incredibly disappointing. I'd say it's the most disappointing thing about the whole figure. In the game, this thing really pops. It's two times larger, and it's her vision. It's what gives her all of her magical abilities in the first place. They should have put so much more work into this. I find the lack of effort disturbing. The two scarf pieces that come down are also symmetrical. What? <laughs> Sporting a beautiful gradient as well with this gorgeous trim and design and little stars on the side. Underneath are actually a different color. We get a lovely red out of them with a beautiful motif and design and shading for some of it. The arms, which are also surprisingly symmetrical, 
It's just a mod podge of all sorts of things at this point. It's gorgeous. It's just, I guess I didn't expect so much symmetry. When you look at her from a distance, you see all the asymmetry. That's why I'm kind of being surprised here. Like, this is my first time really going over it in detail. As you can see in the arms, there's some beautiful folds around the joints. I like when they do things like this. It seems kind of realistic, and I'm a fan. Less plasticky, I guess, or robot fake. She has a different type of blue here, which if we didn't have a repeat of this somewhere on the hat, it would have been awkward, but there it is. The whole sleeve actually bevels out to sport a beautiful star on the back of the hand. It's really nice. And then she's got these gloves, which kind of look like the same kind of material as her bodysuit, but I guess a little grayer in color, so it might actually just be gloves. She's got a choker, so it's a beautiful necklace with a little star in the middle. It looks nice, it's cute, her neck is well done, and the connection piece between her neck and her face, it's not really that noticeable, which is fantastic. Now we move up to her face, which is cute and somewhat round. I love it. The eyes are beautiful. And the hair, the way that it really surrounds her face, just makes it really gorgeous. She's quite emotionless at this point, but you know what? It kind of suits her demeanor in the game. She has thick, strong eyebrows, which really give her this look of determination. Now talking about her hair, we don't see really any connection pieces. It all flows so nicely. I must say that there are a couple of points where you can see in the sculpt that it kind of just plugs into nowhere. I'm not really a fan of that. I think it could have been a lot smoother, but from a distance or seen from a front view of the character, you've got no problems. It's cute how she actually has little bows attaching her hair into the pigtails and you can see it. However, because her hair color and these bows are so similar in color, it doesn't really pop out that much. Which, you know, I would have liked it if maybe it did. Maybe they could have put a gloss on the bow just so it stuck out a little bit more. Because as it is, the only thing that has some real gloss on here are the decals to her eyes and the water that we see here. So everything feels very matte, especially for a character that has gold all over her. At the tip of her hair, she has these cute little plug-ins with the little stars at the end. They look gorgeous. I love the motion and the movement they've given the hair. It's very nice. It really gives the illusion of her whole attack that she's doing. But the hat underneath, it's red, much like the underneath of her scarf pieces. It's beautiful and it really looks like in the game with tons of motifs and designs as well. On the top of the hat, we have this cute little bow where it kind of cuts in with this gorgeous trim. I love how it's not just a round hat and it actually cuts in. She then has this similar apparatus like she has on her leg, but it's a little smaller. Here it really plugs out. It's not rounded around the hat either, like on her leg. And again, I don't know how I feel about this. There's some beautiful star designs all over it, and we get a lighter blue along the top, which matches up with the lighter blue that are on her sleeves to give us that whole unity of the entire figure. There's shading and highlights all over this figure. Her pose is very ambitious and beautiful. Ambitious, why am I saying that? Because I expected this thing to lean. Just look at this. Even on the pre-order page, I remember seeing it thinking, well, I love Mona and I would love to get this, but that's gonna lean for sure. I should probably insert a peg to be able to make sure she doesn't lean over the years. However, I've had her since release and she has not even remotely leaned since then. I think this implies that the middle bar really goes high up inside her leg, and this water base here is thick plastic. It's not a plastic that's malleable, so it's really not moving. One little gripe I must say I have with this figure, it's odd to say this, but I love when things are a little more accurate to the source material, and when Good Smile or Wonderworks did the sculpt to her, I do find that her backside is about 15 to 20 percent larger than what it should be. Leave my space. Most people aren't going to complain about this, but again, I'm just mentioning it for accuracy. When I had picked her up, she was about 17,600 Japanese yen. Amazing price, I think she's absolutely worth that. She looks gorgeous. She'll easily fit in with your Genshin collection, or if you decide to do displays with blue designs and characters, she'll fit in nicely. And even if you don't know Genshin, she's a beautiful concept design. This looks amazing. I think the product is very well made, especially at that price point. If you're going to be paying significantly more than that, then like usual, check out my figure collection, look at a lot of people's different pictures, look at different types of reviews, get different angles in there, because you want to make sure that she fits with what you want, and you don't want to have buyer's remorse for any of the kind of figures you get. I've had it from time to time. Did I get it with her? No. I was pretty happy with her. 
I think that she really does make me think of the character. The pose, again, I freaking love this pose. It looks like she's in the process of shooting out that little blue puppet that attracts the enemies. It's very cool, it's very nice, it's very pretty, it's very, 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 very Genshin Impact. I feel like if you're already a big Mona fan, you probably already own it because let's face it, us Genshin fans tend to go hard on the things that we really like. Fate is called as such for it cannot be changed, nor can it be reversed. It can only but be accepted. If you like my video just a little bit, it doesn't cost much to hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I come out with new videos. Have an awesome rest of your day, and see you next time. Bye! We could do with some more fortune.